There are many of us want to use Windows 10 and Ubuntu both at the same computer, but dual booting does not seem easy to everyone. So in this video demonstration, I will show you how you can dual boot your computer with Windows 10 and Ubuntu 15.10. Assume that you already have a Windows 10 installed on your computer and as you are seeing in this uh, Oracle VM virtual box, I have a Windows 10 Evolution Edition and let's see the partitioning. So as you are seeing, I have a one system Rezo partition, one C drive and one a E drive. On a C drive, already I installed Windows 10 OS and now we are going to install Ubuntu in this 100 GB unallocated space. Click on close and on this system, already amount the ISO image of uh, Ubuntu 15.010 if you are planning to install Ubuntu in uh, your physical machine that time you have to insert the Ubuntu bootable DVD of pendrive if you have a pendrive then make sure that you set your system boot from pendrive if you have not set it up then open the BIOS by pressing a Dell key while start up from BIOS go to boot tab and select boot reference and then select your pendrive at the primary boot so let's do the same for our computer Let's restart this uh, Windows 10 computer and our system will boot from the mounted ISO image of Ubuntu 15.10. So system said uh, boot from uh, Ubuntu bootable DVD. Just wait until you get the options to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So as you are seeing now we have uh, two options try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. So click on try Ubuntu and you will be booted into Ubuntu Live. Here you can test several features and uh, look and decide further to install it or not. Now you see an icon on a desktop, uh, install Ubuntu, click on it. A set of windows will pop up asking for a language selection. Select your preferred language from the left side bar and then click on continue. The next screen shows couple of options to select. If you are connected to the internet, select the checkbox, download updates while installing. These options download and install all available updates. Skip these steps. If you want to download and install update after installing the Ubuntu, click on second checkbox, install this third party software. These options install third party software such as a codec and more. Although you can install Codex after installing Ubuntu, if you install here and you can play everything just after installation is done. So for this demonstration, I'm not going to download the update at this time. We'll download the updates and install once we install the Ubuntu. So click on continue. So this is the most important step. You have a three options available there. First is uh, install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10. Second is uh, replace Windows with Ubuntu and third option is something else. If you want system to partition the hard disk and install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10, then select the first options. If you want to remove Windows completely and uh, want to install Ubuntu, then choose second options. And the third options, what we are going to select in this uh, video demonstration is something else. This is very convenient options. I can partition the hard disk as I want without removing Windows. So click on continue. The following screen would have uh, all the partitions available at your disk including the windows partition and free space. So be very careful before you select any partition. Select the free space and click on plus sign below left side of the windows. Now it's the main part but before that let me tell you what partition are needed to install the Ubuntu. We need to create a minimum three partition namely root, swap and home. So root is a partition that contains all the system and the application file. For example, when you install any application, the related files are stored into the root partition. Nothing from this partition can be deleted without root user's permission. So root partition is symbolized as a slash. So let's create a partition root and let me give a size 25,000 MB. Let's select the mount point slash and click on OK. That's it. Now we have a one partitions slash so let's select a free space again and let's click on a plus sign. Now the next partition which we are going to create is slash home. Slash home is a partition that contains all users data. Like in windows users have different partitions to store data and one partition ha has always. Slash home is like the partition that contains all user data such as a documents, music, movies, games, setups and extras. You can specify any size for slash home depending on your use. If you have a large amount of files, then make it a large. Let's specify again the size 25,000 and let's select the mount point slash home. Click on OK. 
and the next partition which we are going to create is a swap swap is the partition that use as a ram in case your ram is full system will use swap as a ram swap is also used when user have entered the system the have an exception is saved in the swap swap size should be double the size of ram but if your ram is 8 gb or more then keep the swap to 8 gb it should be enough so for this demonstration i'm going to specify the size 4096 4 gig and let's select the use as a swap area okay now let's click on install now it will ask you about to write the changes to disk click on continue if you follow everything correctly you should get the select time zone select time zone and then click on continue select keyboard layout and then click on continue complete all fields including your name your computer name your username and your password twice and select if you want to log in automatically or require to enter password at to log on so i'm going with required my password to log in and then click on continue it should not take much time just five minutes or so if you are a downloading updates when this may take more times depending on your internet speed When installation is completed, you will get a pop-up to restart live Ubuntu to Ubuntu or continue testing. Click on restart now and you are all done. Plug out your pen drive or eject your DVD and now whenever you boot, the grub menu will give you your two operating systems to select Windows and Ubuntu. Select Ubuntu and you are done. As you are seeing, grub menu giving us the options like uh, if you want to boot into Ubuntu, select Ubuntu, that is a by default. And if you want to go, uh, go inside the Windows 10, that time you can select Windows 10 on slash dio slash sd1. Let's get inside the Ubuntu. And here we go. Specify the password and hit enter. and we are in newly installed ubuntu 15.0.10 with dual booting windows 10 let's restart the ubuntu and this time we are going to log on inside the windows 10 let's select windows 10 from grub menu And this time we are in uh, Windows 10. So congratulations, now you have two operating system installed on the same computer. Select any one from grub menu and work without any problem. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.